Raspberry Pi 4 release date specs, rumors, and news. Raspberry Pi 4 release date, does this model B plus push back a potential Raspberry Pi 4? Here we are in 2019. We all wanted a Raspberry Pi 4 last year in 2018. We got a Model A, we got a Model 3B plus, but no Raspberry Pi 4. And for all those wanting the, the new stuff, the USB 3.0, more RAM, more processing power, we were slightly let down. So will we see a Raspberry Pi? Four in 2019? Let's see. So just like everyone else's articles, a lot of this is speculation. The Raspberry Pi Foundation does not leak a lot of information, does not tell us much. I think something that most bloggers and writers and people speculating can all agree on is that the Raspberry Pi Foundation typically likes to keep the price point around $35. And I think that's great because it definitely gives the Raspberry Pi its own niche in the market. I think that's partially why you have so many programmers and software developers and RetroPie and Recallbox and all these other um, you know, front end builders and, and creators uh, making software for the Raspberry Pi. It's just, it's, it's affordable, it's cheap, and the community is thriving. We already have the Odroid, the Latte, Panda, all these other single board computers that are, or even the Tinkerboard, that are more, that have more performance than the Raspberry Pi does. However, their price point is different. And one of the biggest deals, as I just mentioned, is that they don't have the kind of support that the Raspberry Pi does. And for those reasons, I'm, you know, I think like most people out there, you're still really excited about the prospect of a Raspberry Pi 4, where all the images and all the things we made in the past running at better speeds because of a higher performing computer. And uh, that's exciting. For retro gamers on my channel, that's going to be Nintendo 64 performance, Dreamcast performance, PSP performance, getting into GameCube and such. Now, it's just a matter of time till this happens, but I think what everyone's speculating is, will it happen in 2019? And in my opinion, if it's going to happen, it'll probably happen around Pi Day. Now, last year, they surprised us with two things, the Raspberry Pi A, the Model A, and the, the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. But like I mentioned earlier in the video, in the intro, I think a lot of people were hoping for a lot more, 1.8, maybe 2 gigahertz on the processor. Let us get some USB 3.0. Let's get some faster USB ports on there, um, you know, 4K video um, and a two gigahertz. Let's break the two gigahertz mark and an extra gigabyte of RAM. I mean, one gig of RAM is not that much. Now, asking for all that for $35, I get it. I don't necessarily think that's going to happen. But, um, you know, I think people would be acceptable for a slight price increase on these. Um, and then as technology gets better, Things trickle down and things get cheaper. Now, you know, I know that in the past, because of Bitcoins and also RAM prices have had fluctuations, um, but we'll see what happens in, in the future. So as I mentioned, if I was to suspect a Raspberry Pi 4, I would think it would come sometime on Pi Day this year. But what I'd like to look at really quick is if you look at all their previous models, and by the way, they quote it in this article and other articles in that, the creators have always said that the Raspberry Pi 3 is about a, the, red, the, um, the Raspberry 3 was released two years ago, and last year Upton said the Raspberry Pi 4 lasted three years, then we had the Raspberry Pi 2 lasted a year. I think the Raspberry Pi 3 is more like a three-year product. Now, if you're, if you're counting that from the original Raspberry Pi 3B, then you know it should be this year or next year at the latest. But if they're saying the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, is a three-year product, we could be another two years away from a Raspberry Pi 4. The other thing, seeing if you start looking at their newer models, they have a obsolescence statement. And I mean, to me, for those of you wanting, you know, Raspberry Pi Model 4s, you know, this is this is basically saying that they're not going to stop making these. They will continue production until 2023. So that's another four years until they stop making it. Now. If it were me, where does it show all the models? Here you go. So here on the wiki, you have the Model A. Um, they just released the Model A 3 in November of, of last year. And then we have the Model B 3 Plus. And then we have the Zero. Let's, let's not do anything with the Zero in this video, okay? And um, what I would like to see is maybe they, they go off to a Model C. 
Um, but as you can see, like I said, they like to hit that $35 price point. Um, as far as the timelines, you know, these two had a two year gap. But if we're going, as I said, in a three year model, that would put 20, February 2019. That's why everyone's excited because they're like, February 2019 is when he said, you said it was a three year life cycle. Let's see the, the four, what it's going to be like. And um, so we should expect one. And I think March, the Pi Day, March 14th, would be appropriate. Now, they already kind of did that PR thing yes, last year with the, um, the Model 3B Plus. It came out on March 14th, Pi Day. Of um, I like how they put the exact date in the 3 Plus. I wonder if they said something about Pi Day. Uh, okay, they didn't write anything about Pi Day. So, will we see the Raspberry Pi 4? This is my, this is where I think they're gonna have the hardest time, is to give what we want at a $35 price range. And I think what we want is the same thing that these people wrote about, that these people wrote about, that I'm talking about, which is an extra gig of RAM, maybe some USB 3.0 support, and some, um, a faster processor. Um, you know, even just the 0.2 gigahertz, and then if you could overclock it to two at that point, that, that would be compelling. It would definitely be compelling, especially if it stayed at the $35 price point. Um, now, another idea, I'm just gonna throw it out there, is if Raspberry Pi just totally goes off course and introduces maybe something like a Model C, and the Model C is maybe more of a competitor to the O-Droid, which they t pick a different price point and they make kind of this overpowered Raspberry Pi. Uh, I'm just throwing it out there. That would be really cool too. I think people would embrace that. But the other thing that makes me think they're not going to do that is their product lineup right now. They have the Raspberry Pi W, the Zero W. They have the Model A, which is even smaller for or middle of the road. And then you have the Model B. The minute you add the Model C, I mean, it makes sense you have these little tiers of computers, but then at a certain point, your catalog, what you're selling is a little too much. You have too many product SKUs, especially considering they're still selling the threes and they're still selling some of the Ws. So they have a lot of SKUs out in the market and they don't want to oversaturate the market or uh, cannibalize on their own sales. Um, whatever the case is, you know, this is the Raspberry Pi Foundation. And there's, just so you know, there's two arms of the company. There's the nonprofit foundation, and then what fuels that is the, sell, the selling of the single board computers. They must be aware that what's fueling a lot of those sales is, is STEM learning, I'm sure, but also a lot of retro gaming. So with that said, I really think that if they're smart and want to capitalize and grow that fund, there's room in the market for them to build something more powerful and potentially at a higher price point. So that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. If we do get a Raspberry Pi 4, I'll be buying one. I'll be checking it out. I'm, I'm stoked for it. Um, and if we don't get it, the legacy of the Raspberry Pi will still go on, I'm sure, as well. But uh, as I mentioned, I would really like to see one this year. That's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, and by the way, I did want to show you that I came out with this video back in the beginning of the year before these articles were written, okay? All right, I had a, I had a what is it, seven minute video on will we see a Raspberry Pi in 2019. So I've been excited for this the whole month. It's just when I finally got the chance to finish this video.